Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Vanessa. I got a really fun video uh, today about a really cool purse I just bought. So if you're interested, keep watching. Okay, I kind of talked about this in a vlog that I did like a couple weeks ago. But I've been really wanting to get the Marc Jacobs tote bag. Let me fix this really quick. Uh, and I finally was like, I'm going to do it. So I got it uh, for myself as a, like a Christmas gift. And originally they have like beige ones and then they have black ones and it just says a tote bag. But I went into a Von Mar that's nearby where I live. I had never been in there, but like I saw on their website that they had it because like Macy's doesn't have it and I don't want to go drive all the way to downtown Chicago to go grab it. So I went into Von Mar and <clears throat> okay, sorry. Let me just show you guys what the purse looks like. It's so cool. I still can't believe I bought it. Are you ready? <laughs> Who do I think I am? Check out how cute it is. It has like a little you know strap shoulder strap but i i don't know i thought this one was so cute and it's so i kind of liked it better than like just a regular beige or black one because it just seems more i don't know more profesh more i don't know i really like that like just the background like the mark jacobs mark jacobs mark jacobs and i like that it still says the tote bag on it I know like some people don't like it specifically because it says the tote bag, but I think that's just like the whole appeal of like this bag. And okay, so let's talk logistics. So it cost me with tax. Okay, so without tax, I think this one was $2.95. <sighs> that's a lot. Okay, so with tax and everything, it cost me $323. And I paid for stuff that costs more than that, but that's like my, you know, my car or like a phone. So I had never really bought myself, like I think prior to this, the most expensive purse I've ever bought myself was like a $50 purse and it was like, it's a DKNY purse and I love that purse. And now that purse, the DKNY purse that I have, if you look back in my channel, I did a what's in my purse and that's the purse that I did it on. That purse costs like a hundred-ish dollars now or more and it's, it's like crazy I'm glad I got it when I got it but anyway this is the one I got you can like kind of put it over and I thought it was really cool like the way that it looked because I feel like this would look this would be perfect for travel it could be perfect like for an interview um just like running errands um I don't know I thought it was really nice so let's see the inside so I will preface it with that I did put a um, organizer in it. I bought it from Amazon and I will let you guys know uh, in the description box, like the link. So this is what the inside looks like. This is the organizer that I put in. So I could take it out so you guys could see. Um, so the organizer um, is like this. And when I originally put it in, I was like, oh my God, I think this is too tight. Like... But now it's kind of like broken in my purse and it works out and I have another adjustable like middle part that I could add in but so far like this has been really cool um it's like it has so many pockets right here and then this bad boy and then let me grab the middle part so you guys can see what it looks like okay it also comes with this, so you could like put it right here and then you could put your keys to the other side so you'll never lose your keys in your purse, which is really cool. And then this is the middle of compartment, so you can see it has Velcro right here and it has that, that, and that. Excuse me, that's things. Bless you, thank you. Um, so I'll put it in so you guys could see like what it looks like so it's just like this and well actually now that my purse has been like broken into I feel like I could put it in but let me show you what it looks like without it so on the inside it's like it's just like a whole empty empty thing just I don't know if you can tell right there there's like a little section right here to put stuff and like, oh, you can't even see because it's so dark. 
but pretty much there's no compartments, no nothing. And that's why I like, you know, I like did my research before I bought this bag. Um, but yeah, let me put this in here so I could show you guys like everything. Um, so I think I took out the middle compartment so it could just fit. Everything could fit easier because right now it's kind of all over the place. So I'll just take it out for now. Um, so I have used it twice already. Um, I was uh, judging a speech tournament and I was able to fit like my charger, my wallet, if it's a lot of stuff, snacks, um, my phone, a small, a small water bottle, um, like a lot of stuff. Like I could have packed it up all the way, but I, I'm that person that like, I'll dig around, but I don't want to have to pull stuff out to find stuff. Does that make sense? Like I don't want to fill up my purse. Um, so now let's review it. So after, you know, taking it out and having it, I got to remind myself that I do deserve this and that I am allowed to have luxurious things. I know it's not like a Louis Vuitton, but like not a lot of people can afford this bag. So I feel so, so honored and privileged to have had the money to pay for this. So that's the first thing that I want to say. Second, I think it's so cute. I think it's um, just... The fact that it that it is like from a luxury brand uh, makes me feel like I don't know I like it kind of gives me this confidence that I'm walking around with it like I don't know if I'll ever be able to afford like a Louis Vuitton or something but um, it just feels really really cool I think it's super stylish uh, I think it's very um, wearable uh, especially because I feel like I could take this to run errands but I feel like I could also take this to a job interview or like I could take it on like a quick weekend trip or like at the airport I could see myself having this one like I think the bigger one would be more cool for like your carry-on or whatever like when you have your purse when you're when you're at the airport but I was not gonna go and spend $500 on a purse uh I feel like at, the, at that point $500 Five hundred dollars is for me. I would value more going on a trip. But um, if you're able to afford uh, purses that are five hundred dollars and above, that's amazing. Congratulations! And can I be your friend? Uh, but yeah, I want to say right now, I'm giving it a ten out of ten because I think it's really cool. I would say the biggest like con is how just how expensive it was. Um, so I feel like everyone should should be able to feel luxury and like feel cute. Um, so yeah, that's my review on this purse. I think it's so cool. And, uh, I think what I'll do next time is I'll do like a fill, like a what's in my bag and I'll fill it up for you guys so I can show you what I can fill, fill in here. Let me know if that's interesting and I'll do it. But anyways, yes, I'm so excited and thank you for watching this video, you guys, and I will see you at the next one. Bye cuties.